Welcome to Quantum's online training videos. In this video, we discuss the SGA dosers used in SKF multi-lube automatic greaser systems. This video provides an overview of the purpose, principles of operation, and adjustment of these dosers. The doser is used to limit the volume of grease dispensed in each auto greaser lubrication cycle. Grease is fed from the two outlet connections on the control unit into the two inlet connections on the doser assembly. The controlled volume of grease is fed out from the doser assembly to the consumer, typically a stabilizer hole unit, via a single outlet port on the doser assembly. The SGA doser works by means of two pistons, which are stroked with each pressurization from the control unit. Remember that each of the two control unit output lines is pressurized once per lubrication cycle. When the first output line of the control unit is pressurized, that pressurized grease is fed into one of the inlet ports on the doser assembly. The grease pressure pushes against the lower piston, which shifts to allow grease to travel to the upper piston. As the incoming grease pressure pushes the upper piston, grease on the back side of the upper piston is pushed out of the doser assembly output port to the stabilizer hole unit. Once the upper piston has completed its travel, the incoming grease pressure increases to the set point in the control unit and the pressurization period ends. Likewise, when the second output line of the control unit is pressurized, the pressurized grease is fed into the second of the two inlet ports on the doser assembly. Again, the grease pressure pushes against the lower piston, which shifts to allow grease to travel to the upper piston. As the incoming grease pressure pushes the upper piston, grease on the back side of the upper piston is pushed out of the doser assembly outlet port to the stabilizer hole unit. Once the upper piston has completed its travel, the incoming grease pressure increases beyond the set point in the control unit and the pressurization period ends. A lubrication cycle is complete only after each inlet port has been pressurized. To monitor doser stroke, an indicator is provided on the doser assembly. Inside the indicator is a rod, which is just an extension of the upper piston. Attached to the end of the rod is a yellow marker, provided to help us monitor the movement of the upper piston. A set screw in the indicator body limits the allowed stroke of the upper piston. Screwing in this set screw towards the doser body reduces the stroke of the upper piston, thereby reducing the amount of grease dispensed. Screwing out the set screw away from the doser body increases the allowable stroke of the upper piston, thereby increasing the amount of grease dispensed. The amount of grease that the doser can dispense depends on the model doser used. The doser model is stamped on the doser body as shown here. The model code begins with SGA, followed by a size indication, and then a material indication. Quantum tends to use only a few doser model sizes, which have minimum and maximum dosages as shown in this chart. The actual volume of grease that will be dispensed by the doser depends on where the set screw is positioned. For each doser size, a graph, like the one shown here, indicates the volume of grease dispensed per lubrication cycle based on the number of turns of the set screw from the fully screwed in position. To adjust the set screw position, only an Allen wrench is needed. Before adjusting the doser, find the minimum doser volume required. If Quantum supplied the auto greaser for the boat, then you should find an automatic greaser central piping arrangement drawing in the drawing package that Quantum supplied. In this drawing is a table, which indicates the required doser volume for the whole unit per lubrication cycle. So for this application, we are going to adjust the doser to output 1.05 grams per lubrication cycle. This setting can be achieved by turning the set screw 18 turns counterclockwise from the fully screwed in position. Next, let's confirm the doser model that is installed 
and confirm the do with the dosage graph how many turns of the set screw are required to achieve the required dosage. Take note of the groove indications in the graph. These grooves refer to the grooves on the indicator body and are a great reference point to make counting the number of turns easier. In our case, we need 1.05 grams per lubrication cycle, which is 18 turns from fully screwed in, and will end up just shy of the third groove on the indicator body. Then we have to carefully remove the plastic protective cover from the indicator body. Be careful, this piece unscrews from the indicator body and can easily break if too much force is applied. Then we're gonna wait for the auto greaser to cycle the upper piston so that the yellow marker is covering the groove closest to the doser body. Keep in mind you can hurry this along by manually actuating a lubrication cycle at the control unit. Using an Allen wrench, turn the set screw all the way in so that it sits against the end of the upper piston rod. Then use the Allen wrench to turn the set screw out the number of turns determined from the auto greaser piping drawing and the doser model graph. In this case, that's 18 turns. And we should see that the set screw ends up just shy of the third groove in the indicator body. Monitor the doser for one full lubrication cycle to make sure it's working properly. You should see the yellow marker travel from the groove closest to the doser body all the way to the set screw, and then in the next pressurization interval from the set screw to the groove closest to the doser body. Now let's take a look at our options if it seems that the doser is not working. Really, the doser only has two moving parts, so if it's not working, there are only so many causes. First, make sure that the set screw isn't stopping the upper piston from moving. Ensure that the set screw is backed out far enough to allow piston movement. If that doesn't solve the problem, then check if there's too much back pressure on the output line. Disconnect the outlet port and manually start a lubrication cycle. If grease comes out, then you know the problem is somewhere between the doser and the hull unit, but you'll have to do more research to see what's causing the back pressure. If the doser still doesn't stroke, then check if the problem is upstream of the doser. Connect a gauge to the inlet line or disconnect it from the doser and manually start a lubrication cycle. If the pressure on the gauge meets or exceeds the low pressure set point at the control unit, or grease comes out of the inlet pipe, then the greasing system is working upstream and the problem must be with the doser pistons. If the doser has had an extended period with no use, one or both of the pistons may be stuck. If the pressure is very low or no grease comes out of the inlet pipe, Go check out the control unit to make sure everything's working honky-dory there. That's how the SGA dosers work in an SKF multi-lube automatic greaser system for quantum stabilizer systems.